Hi guys and welcome back to another video. You're seeing me here in Italy after a flight yesterday. It's now the next day and I've kind of unpacked and things, got myself settled in and um, today we're going to be doing some exploring around the little town and tomorrow I'll be doing some skiing but I thought I would show you a couple of my me makes that I brought with me which I think you'll love. Um, firstly this little headband that I made and I really love it because it looks really cute and it actually matches all of my me made ski wear stuff which I'll show you tomorrow because we're going to ski tomorrow which I cannot wait for um but yes I've done it so it's kind of like a knot detail here at the top and yeah I really love it as you can see room is super cute we're in a little flat here in Italy um, and I love all the old styled wooden cupboards and the chandelier, it just looks gorgeous. But yeah, I'm going to pop on some lippy and I'll show you my long line coat that I also made last year, which I think you will love as well and actually matches this super well. And then I'll show you the full outfit, but at the minute I'm just wearing a cashmere jumper from Marks and Spencers with a thermal underneath and some wet look trousers oh and actually before I forget this is also a me made little item it was my first quilted pouch that I made let me show you so you can probably see it here it's a really nice size like really big and if you can see from the detailing here I've used a sort of checkered print with horizontal um stitching and also this lovely excuse the stain <laughs> Oh, I don't know if it's staying actually, it probably will come out. This lovely yellow floral print with vertical um, quilted detailing. And then if we look at the lining, it's this lovely polka dot inner lining, which I just absolutely love. Plenty of space. I've sewn it so it has sort of a square bottom so that it sits really nicely as well and plenty of space to fit all my bits and bobs in. So, so really in love with this um, and definitely have an unhealthy relationship with pouches and bags and all that sort of stuff, but I never have one that's big enough just to kind of throw everything in without it being like full to the brim. So this was a really great make. I'm definitely gonna be making quite a few more. Um, I've actually sandwiched wadding between all these layers just to give it a little bit more robustness but if you wanted it to also be a wash bag you could definitely line it with some waterproofing inner so that it doesn't leak um but yeah super handy and again great for travel easy to kind of pop in your suitcase and sort of flatten which i found on my way here was really helpful and completely necessary I'm just going to, so yeah, we're going to have a little explore around and um, there are apparently some really nice Christmas markets around here. Um, so I'm really excited to go and have a little wander around. Um, but I'm also really intrigued to see if there's any nice fabric that I can get my hands on. Um, and yeah, I'll kind of show you some glimpses of what we got up to, but um, yeah, I'll see you later on. So I'm almost ready to go, minus the shoes, <laughs> but I thought I would kind of show you my outfit for the day. So obviously I've got my jumper that I mentioned, which I just live in at this time of year. And I've got the houndstooth headband. And if you guys are following me for a little while, you would have seen this um, Cotigan style piece, which is a maxi length, really lovely slit cinched in at the waist with the belt and this was actually a pattern hack from the Nora cardigan and I made it super long and made it kind of into a trench style slash coatigan which I'm absolutely loving and this fabric is a gorgeous sort of jacquard print let me flip you around so it's this lovely jacquard knit uh, fabric quite thick quite nice for this kind of outerwear design. Um, I do have some spare fabric of this left and I am thinking of making a little mini A-line skirt to kind of match. Um, but let me know if you have any other ideas of things that I can make with it because I do really love the fabric. And this was actually a remnant um, that I found uh, in my local fabric shop, which unfortunately has now closed down, but I have managed to find a really nice dupe for this 
on Etsy. So I will link that down below if you guys are kind of interested. But I think I definitely will order some more of this because it is so gorgeous. Um, the new edition is the collar. So this is from a ready to wear piece, uh, which I don't really use anymore. But I just felt like this was kind of lacking something and kind of a collar. So I did try and just, I've only safety pinned them on. You can see here, just so I can get a bit of a vibe and see how much I like it and see if it's something I'm going to permanently add. But I do really love it. I do think it just finishes off really, really nicely. But yes, I'm really loving my outfit. I'm gonna be lovely woman toasty in this. I've got my gray knee high boots and let's get exploring the little town. Oh my gosh, guys, I have no idea how I always forgot to show you this as well. But it's my little handbag slash camera bag. I just absolutely love it. Um, it's actually an old season from Primark, which I actually love. But I actually changed the straps um, to this lovely embroidered one. I can't remember where I found this. I think it was like a little boutique here in Italy in the Alps. And I've got a couple of different colours. But um, I love dazzling up bags with this stuff like this because I just think it looks so unique um because it's the perfect size it fits my camera in but also all my bits and bobs that i need generally and it just looks so stylish so yeah i thought i'd show you that as well um, i'm also wearing some of the jewelry that i love this one on my i don't know what finger that is <laughs> but this finger here the gold one i got a pandora love pod ring um, I'm not sure where the other one's from, but it's kind of like a spirally appearance. I think it could be from Etsy. If I do find it, I'll link it down below. And this one, I believe, is Primani, the black one. Um, but I just thought it was nice to sort of jazz it up. Right, let's get on into the town. So you probably saw some clips of the day in the little town centre and how cute were those little shops. There's something so sort of cosy and festive um, with the type of decorations here but without being tacky if you know what I mean. So I love the vibes. Um, so I'm back and I'm showering ready to go out for dinner with some friends um, and this towel is from here. And how gorgeous is this I think it's crocheted trim. Let me show you a bit better. Can you see how adorable that is? And this has given me such inspiration for my really old tired towels at home. I could definitely do this with my other towels. And yeah, it looks beautiful. But yeah, one thing I have noticed with packing for this holiday and also dressing for this evening is I don't have enough like pretty me made tops so I need to fill that gap in my wardrobe and I'm going to remember to do that when I get back and do my next set of projects is I need some more like pretty frilly um, patterned blouses on tops and things like that. Or if I want to throw something on with some just simple jeans but kind of jazz it up at the top that would be ideal so I definitely need to get on that but this evening I think I'm going to wear my suede skirt and yeah I don't think there's any me made items apart from my coat which you would have seen earlier. So not much to report there, but I will give you a little show of my outfit before I leave um, and get my face makeup on. So this is the outfit for the evening and I've got this mesh polka dot top with a strap up underneath and this gorgeous suede mini skirt and some really patterned tights, which I just love. And makeup wise, kind of done the same 
same sort of look as the day but a little bit more glitter just kind of on the inner corners and yeah I think I'm ready to go oh and plus jewelry don't forget the jewelry so it's now Christmas day and I'm just kind of getting ready I'm almost done um this is the outfit I thought I would show you what I decided to wear um none of it is me made actually um apart from my hair accessory which I'll show you in a moment but I really love this mesh top. I think it's super lovely and warm. And I've got this lovely, what do I say, houndstooth slash checkered mini skirt and some cream leggings. My hair at the moment is kind of um, in a bun of plaits because I want to see if I can make it wavy. So I'm gonna leave that in a bit longer. And in terms of my makeup, I have gone all glittery, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm really loving the vibe. Um, I still need to put my jewellery and things on, but I'll do that right at the end. Uh, Footwear-wise, I mean, I think we're just going tights because it's no shoes policy, which I'm all fine with. Um, and yes, yesterday I didn't get around to filming as much as I would have liked, but I did find some gems. I actually stumbled across a Turton shop and there were some really fun Christmassy fabrics that I saw in the window and I had to go in and I was just so excited when I saw all the fabric-y bits inside. So I'm definitely gonna head there again, but let me show you what I actually picked up there yesterday. So this is a bag of goodies. Uh, there's some Harry bows in there, so <laughs> priority. But I found these lovely Christmassy prints. Now, I always like Christmassy prints, but I think there's a fine line between tacky and like quite elegant Christmas prints. And I found these felt pieces, they're fat quarters. And let's show you a bit closer. Oh, we're gonna focus, there we go. So we have kind of like, I don't know what you call this, they're snowflakes, but there's also these little things that fall off trees that kind of spin like helicopters. I don't know if you remember when you were little, um, but I thought that was just so different and so beautiful with the typical uh, Christmassy colours. And I also picked it up in the green colour. And also, this one is just so, so cute. So it's white and red and there's lots of lollipop sticks, candy canes, gingerbread man, um, like snowflakes. Like it's just super, super cute. Now, obviously, it's Christmas Day, so I'm not going to be using them this year, but they're going to be added to my stash ready for next year. Um, I'm not sure what I want to make from them just yet, but I'm thinking lots of mini stockings would look so cute. Um, so kind of a plain bottom, and this is kind of a trim. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on felts and things, any projects that I can do next year, then let me know. But I'll be sure to video them when the time comes. So yeah, I was super happy to find this shop. Um, it was Christmas Eve, so it was like a literal dash in and out and a quick little snoop. But yeah, had to pick those up. I also bought this, which was really cute. I don't know, I just like, saw it and loved it. <laughs> so I bought it. It's a little rocking horse put on the Christmas tree. So I love that. And let's finish getting ready. So you would have seen yesterday was Boxing Day and went for a lovely stroll in the snow, which was so much fun. Um, I wore my little me made headband. If you haven't seen that clip already, I'll pop it in now. Um, but yeah, I love that headband so, so much. And the fabric is just gorgeous. It's so soft. Um, but yeah, I'll try and link it if I can find it down below. I did originally buy it on Etsy. Let me show you what I'm wearing today. You are balancing on a few things right now, so I'm slightly scared. Uh, okay, so. Um, this top I made just before I left actually and it's this lovely long sleeve top 
I actually originally wanted to have this as sort of a ski base layer, but it also, to be honest, works as a really nice sort of general going out top. And um, it has a really nice sort of boat styled neck. Neckline, really long sleeves. This is the McCall's M7531, I want to say. And this is the version B, which is sort of a long sleeve dress version, but I just made it into sort of a long top. And I made it long enough so I could tuck it into trousers and so my, my high waisted trousers start here. I just hate, with a passion, I hate like having a midriff sort of showing. So, because that was essential in my opinion. And yeah, so the sewing pattern does recommend a, a four way stretch, but this is a two way stretch. But this fabric is gorgeous. It's a Ponto Roma, well, so it was described as a Pontaroma fabric, but it's a lovely stretch hound's tooth, or is it dog's tooth? I always get them confused. I think it's dog's tooth fabric print. And it's really, it's slightly slippery, but super, super soft. So it feels so warm, it's incredible. Um, but what I did have to do, because this was a two-way stretch, it was a little bit tight. I made it in the extra small and I could get it on, but it was like just really constricting here and kind of around the arms. So what I did, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, is I added a seven centimeter panel here, all the way to the armpit, and then created, you can see, an extra triangle here to just increase the movement. And it's it's great now, but, but that was the problem with doing extra small with a two-way fabric. So if you do make this pattern, just be aware of that. Um, but what I have done, because, like I said, I wanted it to be for sort of ski wear or like a base layer. I wanted to actually add a separate panel here where I've done the extra panel here in like a plain black, just because I think it would look super nice as sort of a streamlined appearance, but also have it running down here, which also will make it a little bit more roomier because you can see it's quite snug. Um, and also adds a nice design detail, but at the time of making it, I don't have a stretch black fabric, so I've had to order that in. But in the meantime, it's still super wearable. For those of you that don't know, I don't have an overlock, so I did the whole thing essentially in a zigzag stitch. And I did twin stitching along all the hemlines. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. This top was actually inspired by... So this was actually inspired by this cowl neck fleece jumper that I... Um, bought ready to wear but I loved the fabric so much and I thought it was perfect for skiing and now I have a matching set kind of <laughs> and with the same Ponteromia fabric I actually made this headband which you would have seen in I think day one of this trip but we have a matching headband and a matching scrunchie which is making me love life <laughs> right now because I just love everything matching um so yeah that's kind of become my like a ski wear attire um, I will be heading home today, so I thought I would show you kind of the projects that I've been doing in the evenings as sort of a chilling activity. Um, the first one here is, so I managed to finish this project as part of like an evening activity and it looks so, so cute. How cute is the size? And I haven't really done cross stitching for actually many, many years. And this was really nice to kind of get started. Uh, it's actually a kit, so it has everything that you need already in the package. So it already has everything in the package, so you don't need to carry anything extra, which is great for travel anyway. Um, it has a needle, all the different kind of thread, all the instructions and everything all to make this. Um, I think this is by Cotton Clara. I'll link it down below if you can find it. I think one, it's a perfect gift, and two, it's perfect if you want to travel and still do a little bit of activities you know just kind of in the evenings while you're watching a film so yeah really happy with that I'm definitely gonna put that on a wall somewhere because it looks really really cute and this definitely has got me excited to do some more cross stitching and I've already had a little brows I haven't worn anything yet but if you guys have any recommendations of sort of cool more like I think I want to do more floral designs so if you know of any cross stitching floral designs let me know because I loved doing this was so much fun. And something that I didn't get around to doing, but um, I definitely would have had I had a bit more time here, is make these woven coaster mats, which I think I may have shown you in a video already, kind of how this works. But essentially, again, a little bit like the um, Cotton Clara, it comes with everything that you need and nothing extra. 
along with instructions and all like the pattern pieces that you might need and all the equipment and the thread and this is just a really nice little compact like craft to take along with you so um, I would definitely recommend to check this out if you haven't already. This was actually gifted to me but I think it's the most amazing gift to give because you learn lots of new skills, it gives you the opportunity to really have a look at other crafts, maybe things that you haven't thought about before. The things like the cross stitching and obviously you know weaving, they're kind of similar skills that you would use in general sewing but applying it to something slightly different so it really helps you flow with your creative juices and um, you can either buy them as pack or you can do a subscription um but yeah it's a really nice gift and i think it's a lot of fun but i'm definitely gonna do this when i get back home because i've been really excited i think i'm going to do so there's four patterns that you can do either these two or these two and I really want to do this one and it gives you enough to do two so I might do um, I might do that one and that one or that one and that one I don't know but they all look super cool and the nice thing thing is is that obviously they gave you this so you can just reuse this and do loads of other projects as well and obviously because you know the materials of what you need for the project you can obviously buy this in other colours use the same templates find new templates, make your own templates. It's just, it's just so much fun and so great. So yeah, loving that. Um, and yeah, so I'll be flying back to the UK now. It's been so much fun. I'm dreading the travel a little bit. I don't like traveling. It's so long and I hate waiting around, but here we are. <laughs> and I'm gonna start planning my next videos for you guys. January is gonna be a fun one. I've got lots to share with you and yeah i'll see you in the next video thanks for joining me here on my holiday to northern italy in the italian alps for christmas and i'll see you in the new year bye